am Mr. Gooding. This is Glen Allen High School, and this is our sports and entertainment marketing class. Today we will be covering product development, where our students will be exploring how a product is developed and how to market it. So what we're going to do right now is I need you to get into groups of four, um, no more than four. So let's move. You got about two minutes to do that. Groups of four. Can it be less than four? We didn't pick up Mark. There you go. All right, so what we've been talking about, we talked about pricing was our last unit, right? And so what we're going to cover today is tying all of these concepts together. So we've talked somewhat about the four, the four P's of marketing. What are the four P's of marketing? Give me one of them, somebody. Thank you. Promotion. Promotion. <laughs> Give me another one. Distribution. Distribution or placement. Product. Product and price. Thank you. So now that we have all of these concepts in place, you're going to join this group right here. Now that we have all of these concepts in place, let's make it a real world scenario. So what does that mean? That means that we're going to engage in this process of creating a product, marketing the product, pricing the product, so we can see exactly how that works. You guys have already gone through exploration of a product. No, put your chair on the floor. You've already gone through the exploration of a product where you've looked at how products are priced, prestige pricing, psychological pricing. We've done all that. Now you're going to use these techniques as you create a product. Your job today is going to be to identify your target market using demographic data and, psycho and psychographic data. So you're going to think about the demographic data and the psychographic data. Then you're also going to brainstorm based on the target market you select, what kind of product can you create? And that's where it will become very interesting today. Because you will have about seven minutes to create a marketable product out of Legos. Now, so listen up. So, understand, we talked about supply and demand, right? Scarcity arises because of what? The, you, you have limited resources and you have unlimited what? Wants and need, right? So therefore, because we have limited resources and unlimited what? Wants and needs, we have scarcity. So you guys have limited what? The Legos represent limited resources, right? And you're trying to create your product, okay? So everyone in this room, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven groups. You guys are going to have to join them back there or join here. You guys do not have unlimited resources. So you have to think carefully about the product you're going to create and then how you're going to market that product. So here's what we're going to do. One person in the group, you need one computer on the table. If you, if you go into Schoology, if you go into Schoology, I've shared this document with you. Only one person needs to complete it. But once you start completing it, I need you to put everybody's name on the document. So whoever is doing, the, whoever has the computer is going to be our scribe for the group. You're going to document everything that your group does for your group grade. Okay? So the first thing that we're going to do. Here's your scenario, and I want you to th think about this. Your group represents the research and design team for a local toy store. You have been asked to develop a new product that will energize the company, increase sales, and gain more of the market share. Three objectives, energize the company, increase sales, and gain more of the market share. 
Go through each phase of the project to accomplish your goals. Make sure to record the group's process on this document. So we're going to work through this together. So we're on phase one right now. So I want you now to identify what your target market looks like. So what you're going to do is in your group, you're going to decide who are we going after? Why is our target market important? Say that again. To see who you're selling to. Why else is your target market important? So it helps you know who your customer base is. Why else is your target market important? Because different age groups like different things. Different age groups like different things. If you don't know who your target market is, how do you develop a product? You can't, right? And so therefore, you have to decide. So <clears throat> here are four categories that we're going to start with. Child age range, parental income, because you're working for a toy store. So do, 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 do the kids typically have money? No. no, they don't. Parental education range. Why do you think the education range of the parents is important? Yes, Cody. Yes, so we, all, we also know that the more education a person has, typically the higher their what? Income. Their income possibilities are. So now, if you understand what pr people make, you can tie that into who we're going after as we price. And then geographical area. Why is geographical area important? <laughs> Certain areas have more needs. Thank you. There are going to be different needs based on the area that you're going to market your product. Also, there are going to be different confinements based on the area that you're marketing your product, right? So now you've got about five minutes to complete this. We've done this before, so it shouldn't take that long. So you guys need to, in your group, decide who you're going after. You're developing a toy out of Legos. This is the prototype. Who are you going after? You got five minutes. Let's go. <laughs> what do right. you, do what not develop on? your product yet. Right. Right. No. No. Before you decide what you're going to make, you have to decide who you're going after. What's our what's our child age range? So we like. So we do like nine to twelve. We said fifty. You said twenty is too high. Twenty to twenty five. Yeah, you just said twenty is too high. So try. No, it's not too high. It's too low. What about seventy five? Masters, give me masters. Understand this. All right, listen up. So, what is the danger of having a, a real broad age range? So what happens when I do mass marketing? What do we find out about mass marketing? Uh, it's, not a specific it's not specific and you spend a lot of money mm -hmm. and you don't necessarily know if you're going to what? Uh, Hit your target, right? Yeah. So you want to be very specific today. I want you to be very specific. Choose an age range where you can create a prototype that's going to sell. It could be little. Four to Who did 4 to 16? What is it going to be? I mean, we could do a little yeah, car. I mean, but you, you got like little. No, but you have to look at what's popular right now. Because if you want to sell it, it has to be popular. Four to six. Four to six. What do people with four to six play with? I don't know, like dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Like yeah, I said four to six. Barbies. Cars. And then the reason why you selected this age, this income range, is because it's gonna be cheap and not too expensive. Yes. You're setting it because this is who you're going after. These are the people that you're going after. So what income range are you targeting? What educational level are you targeting? Dude, because he said $60,000 is like a lot, a lot of money to make a year. It is. 60000 It is. No way. Depending on what you do. What's it called? At Pan Express is like general manager, 58 k a year. And you know how many hours he works? Still, it's Pan Express. So I want each group very briefly each group very briefly to give me their four categories of who you're going after and a small summarization of why you're going after them. So who's completed? Mike, you said your group had completed. So tell me, what age range are you going after? Two to three-year-olds. Two to three-year-olds. What is the parental income range? 
60 to a hundred thousand dollars. Wow, you must have an expensive toy in mind. Um, parental education range. Sorry, you said bachelor's degree. Bachelor's degree. So they're going to make sixty thousand dollars with a bachelor's degree. Okay. Geographical area. Middle class American suburbs. Middle class American suburbs. Who's next? Malak. Okay. Um, the education is bachelor's degree. Shh, shh. And the area would be mostly cheaper areas to live in suburban areas. Okay, okay. I like that. Anybody else? Yeah. Sarah. Our age range is four to ten. Our income is fifty thousand to anything. Our education fifty thousand to anything. <laughs> yes. Can we close that off, Sarah? A million? No, Sarah. Hundred thousand. Okay. Um, our parental education range is bachelor's or master's, and our geographical area is the United States. United States. Yes, Jaden. You want to read it? Our age range is 8 to 10. Okay. Our parental income is from 50,000 to 70,000. Our parental education range is two years associates and four years bachelor's degree. And our geographical area is heavily populated city areas with lots of stores and commercial. Okay. Uh, Eddie? Um, so the child age range is 5 to 10. The parental income range is 40000 to 100000 And the parental education range is bachelor's degree. And the middle class suburbs is our geographical area. Geographical areas. Okay. Who have I missed? Parker. The age range is 3 to 5 years old. Income range is $60,000 to $75,000. And our education range is a master's degree. Okay. And a geographical area is the city. The city. Okay. So now that we have a pretty good feel for who we're going after, now we have to start to think what are we going to create? Because we've got, we've got two customers, really, don't we? Who are our two customers? The kid and the parent. So we have to create a product that parents are going to approve. You hear me, Jaden? Yes. That parents are going to approve of and that the kid wants. That's an interesting problem, isn't it? Because typically what I approve of as a parent, the child doesn't want, do they? So now you have to now think about it. That's why I've given you this sheet here. I want you to brainstorm. And brainstorming means what? Thinking. Just writing. Are there any right or wrong answers? No. no, we're just brainstorming. We're taking everything that is in our brain that is, that is OK, and we're putting it on paper, right? So now I want you to take, let's take three minutes to brainstorm. And whatever somebody says, don't call it stupid. Just write it on the paper. All right, yes, sir. That I still want you to brainstorm because you might have a better idea that comes out. So, let's go. I'm writing. It's waterproof. Bicycles and all that kind of cool stuff. You know the cars that they can drive, like the little mini ones? They, they can't even ride them in first place. No. I don't like one of those electric four wheel things. I meant like things. the cars. Yeah. Because they're like balanced. That's what I meant. That's toy totally track. I don't want to build my own. To rock a shit dog for shoes? Yeah. Shoes. That actually might be a good idea. And we're going to make that with Lego. Some of you are going to have some safety concerns. An electric scooter for a three to five year old. As a parent, I don't know if I would let my child hey, you said ride no right an electric wrong scooter. Wrong there's no right or wrong answer. That's the only one they got on their paper, though. Oh, These are okay, right? Board games. I don't know. I don't know about bikes, mini cars, Lego movie. You're gonna create a Lego movie? Out no, of no, no. Like the characters in Lego movie, like Batman oh, okay. and uh, Fortnite, Hot Wheels. And this is Mario. You're gonna create a DS1. DSi. DSi. Oh. 
kids right okay. now so we can try to extract some incorporate so so what is our go what is our challenge though what is our challenge our challenge our, we have three things to generate excitement and it's like about the money. increase sales and what was the last one? What was the last one? Uh, it's right there. Uh, the, uh, you have to make it. The, the area, no. the, the area. What, was, what the were our three things? And gain more of the market share. And gain more of the market share. So, uh, once again, you got to be innovative and think outside of the box. All right? So, so now, listen up. Listen up. So now that we've thrown some ideas on our paper, because this is what brainstorming is. Now, here's what I want you guys to think about. Remember, I told you one of the keys to making a lot of money is to be able to solve somebody's problem, right? That's what entrepreneurs do. When you solve somebody's problem, they pay you a lot of money for it, right? That means you have to be innovative. So what I want you to think about now, we're supposed to increase sales. What else are we supposed to do? Gain more of the market share and generate excitement. Uh -huh. Now, how many of your ideas on your paper are innovative enough to do this? Each Lego that you use represents 10 cent in cost. So remember we talked about markup costs. What a, somebody tell me what markup is. Yes, so markup is we, we mark the price up so that we can make a what? A profit, right? We've got to charge people more for the product than it costs us to make it. So each Lego that you use represents 10 cent in, in cost. You use 20 Legos, it costs you $2 to make that product. All right? You can only start with 10. Then, if you need more after you've used your 10, you come get more. If you have to substitute some, you dump them out. You, everybody with me? So send one representative to start with 10. What's the idea? What is this? All right, so basically what this is, is this like this Have you ever seen a skateboard board, right? So you have two tires. J jabbing out from the edge. I got four the tires. In the middle, and it comes in a pack of two, so it encourages kids to go with a friend and race each other. And been in the house all day. How old are you? What's your age group? Eight to ten. Eight to we ten? Can, we can okay. probably change it to like ten to twelve. Okay. This is an electrical sled. You know, probably. Yeah. 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 That's a scary looking It's only one little thing. So you went through the first phase of drawing a prototype and now you're creating the prototype, right? Hold on, I'm going to let you get some more. But how many of you have run into some issues that now what you want to create, you might need to change your target market? So we have one group that now once they started designing the product, they've said, you know what, we need to change our target market. You guys, why did you need to change your target market? Because it wasn't appropriate for the age that we had. So what you're trying to create, please listen. What you're trying to create now exceeds the age requirement that you originally thought about, right? Yes, sir. So now you need to go back and revamp what you're going to do. Thank you for joining Glen Allen High School Sports and Entertainment Marketing class. I hope that you learned a little bit about product development and product marketing. Go Jazz! Yeah.